Hello fellow pool siders. Maximus here with a clear pool mainnet update. I did see that on their official Twitter space they have posted that exciting times are ahead as they approach the final stages of their mainnet launch. They state that everything is on track and there will be a quarter one launch as planned. They do have an article in which you can learn what's been going on with the mainnet release. So here is that. And I was going to state, you know, a few things that uh, grabbed my attention. I'm not going to read, of course, the whole uh, article verbatim, but nonetheless, you know, like what it states here on the updated default mechanism, it states that it's been fully tested. Um, it's working. The mechanism is for every eventuality. It also states that um, based on the feedback from their legal team, the default mechanism has undergone an update in which provides even more protection for lenders. Because you got to keep in mind at the end of the day, Clearpool, you know, it's decentralized uh, for capital markets. Uh, there are ecosystems where institutions can borrow uncollateralized liquidity. And, um, you know, of course, it's also an appealing thing for us as in, you know, retail investors. But nonetheless, uh, that's the whole point of this mainnet launch is that particular focus. Now, in regards to the testing, uh, another thing that caught my attention was it states that they will continue to test every possible eventuality to ensure, for example, that any recent updates have not impacted previous functionality. Um, and then, of course, the audit. You know, Certic obviously is a big player when it comes to audits. Uh, a lot of, you know, new projects, whether it's um, Saitama, Shiba Doge, uh, you know, you name it. A lot of projects want to go through Certic. It's kind of like, um, you know, the standard, if you will, when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency audits for a project. So it was nice to see. I'm sorry, it was nice to see that they're getting this, you know, Certic audit going and that it's approaching the major final steps, like it says. And then on top of that, um, I guess they're doing two audits, one with Pessimistic. Never heard of Pessimistic, but nonetheless, it was really cool to see that um, they're getting two separate audits. And then on top of that, you know, it says the legal compliance and regularity. Um, or I'm sorry, regulatory. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> and it says that their team has worked very closely with uh, both legal advisors and global world-class law firm to create a suite of documents that protect all parties in any eventuality. Of course, they're putting a lot of emphasis on this, uh, you know, different types of eventualities and the um, scenarios that play out in regards to that. Uh, one thing that caught my eye, of course, was where it says that they're working very closely with their partner, X Margin, to create a KYC procedure that is simple and easy for borrowers to follow, but would satisfy any compliance team. If you don't know what KYC is, it means know your customer. So it's really cool to see that. Um, and then on top of it, in regards to the staking and farming, this was the main highlight of this uh, main article for myself. Because you know the first video I ever did was uh, about Clearpool and the staking and how appealing it was to be able to uh, stake on, for instance, KuCoin and earn a little over 100% APY um, on your staked amount. Um, so it'd be very nice to hear later on, um, you know, the details in regards or full details, I should say, in regards to the farming. Because if you ever use, for instance, um, the you know DeFi app for Crypto.com, and you use, for instance, like VVS Finance, or uh, recently I did a video on uh, Crystal Finance, you know things like that, in which um, you know they have different types of uh, appealing rewards for farming. You know you can earn a, a high yield on your interest from farming certain uh, crypto assets. So it'd be really interesting to see what Cpool is going to have moving forward with this mainnet and so on. And of course, you know, I also did a video in regards to uh, addressing uh, questions and concerns in regards to FUD. If you don't know what FUD is in crypto language, it stands for fear, uncertainty and doubt. 
Um, it states that they had a number of respectful conversations with the majority of community members who have expressed their questions respectfully. It says that they remind everyone that their community groups have certain rules which apply to everyone. We also remind everyone that we are real people. See? Keyword. Real people building real product with real users. So, you know, there's always going to be people who want to FUD a project. And I hate to say it, just like in gaming, if you ever played any online video games, as you know, there's a lot of trolls in those games. And they're just really negative people who want to be toxic, just to be toxic for no reason at all, other than they think it's cool. Um, I actually recently had a guy come in on my channel and he was FUDing the Clearpool project in the comments. And, you know, I'm open, of course, to criticism, as long as it's constructive criticism. But if you're just going to come and negatively FUD a project just to do it um, because you think it's fun, I'm not going to tolerate that. And so he was just, po you know, pointing out, like, very useless information. Clearly, he was... Uh, just trying to be toxic, if you will, or a troll. And I was able to verify that because I saw on other channels, um, small channels like myself, um, in which he was just posting pretty much like the same type of things. Like, um, you know, he, maybe he watched like maybe 20 seconds of the video and then he would post scam, like just no reason at all. Scam. It, it's just, it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, when I saw that and I verified that, you know, this guy's just clearly a troll, you know, I delete his comments. I am a firm believer that um, when it comes to our country or the world for that matter, we need to get back to this, uh, you know, the, the discussion, if you will, of agreeing to disagree. You know what I mean? Like, I might not um, agree with everything you have to say. Right, and you may not agree with everything that I have to say, but as long as we can come to the table and agree to disagree, you know that's what matters. I think we need to get back to that again as a country and as you know, as far as uh, the world goes. Um, and unfortunately, you just you don't see a lot of agreeing to disagree nowadays. But nonetheless, uh, I was glad to see that Clearpool wanted to address the FUD. I of course was addressing it in my. Uh, well, I should say a few videos back in regards to uh, where I made a video that said, um, you know, splash and wave the FUD. And I actually got some recognition on it from the Clearpool team, which I thought was super cool. So, glad that they're realizing it. Uh, you know, there is FUD, unfortunately, it goes around. Um, but again, yeah, you know, like it says, you know, the real people building a real project with real users. You know, you got to keep in mind, if this is so much of a rug pull, they're sure going out of their way uh to do live amas for one right um and on top of it you know like these guys again real people show their faces this is in fact a real project i mean they haven't launched the main net yet cannot uh put enough emphasis on that alone um in my humble opinion and not financial advice but I try to get put you guys on the place that i'm in and that is once you see this main net launch you will actually be glad that there was red days if you will where you were able to buy clear pool for as cheap as 28 cents and for the people who loaded up on that dip you're gonna be so glad when you see this thing you know as they would say go to the moon i still believe that this is a very underrated project that is flying under the radar and you know i remember back when shiba inu was an underrated project that was flying under the project that was flying under the radar and people used to fud the living heck out of that project and look at it now it's like a top 15 project in all of crypto out of 17,000 plus projects let that uh you know settle in you know just food for thought grant I, I, I get it's a completely different project but the point is there's always going to be fud whether it's clearpool saitama shiba inu and so on as long as people can talk negatively about a, a crypto project they're going to do it so um but again you know these guys show their faces cannot emphasize put more emphasis on that um and then on top of that, I mean, you know, for instance, uh, the CEO, Robert Alcorn, look into his background. The guy has years of experience in finance. Um, you think a person like that is going to go all out or go uh, out of his way to just, you know, oh, I'm going to just magically do a rug pull. Um, I don't know. I just I, I don't see that. That just seems ridiculous to me. 
I, I've, you know, unfortunately been involved with a couple rug pulls. Uh, one that stands out, the last one was Suzuki Inu. Um, I actually lost a little bit of money on that, unfortunately. Um, I didn't get involved with Squid Game. But, you know, if you want to look at rug pulls, those are rug pulls. You know? Knowing that, uh, co uh, sorry, Coin Market Cap, if you go there, um, let's see here. Yeah, they just had a, one up here was actually posted yesterday. But you know, if you go to any of their videos, they uh, the one for yesterday, for instance, uh, this guy actually pointed out how to identify rug pulls. So I would definitely recommend that. All right, just a couple more things. I know I, I put a lot of uh, emphasis on the whole FUD thing. Um, it says clear pull for beginners. Uh, last night, I believe I put a, put out a video in regards to. Uh, clear pull for beginners. Um, article one is where I read verbatim, believe it or not, uh, because I thought it was important. Because you know, let's face it, there's a lot of us who, um, you know, we got invested into clear pull. Not saying myself, for instance, but you know, let's face it, there are people who got invested into clear pull who don't understand what the project is. You know, like for instance, if you see this over here, it says. Clearpool is a decentralized capital markets ecosystem where institutions can borrow on collateral uncollateralized liquidity you know for somebody that's a new investor that's still kind of like greek to them they may recognize that it's a great project right that has very high staking rewards for instance like on kucoin or send x but still that might not make sense to them so my one of my previous videos i cover that area of article one for um which is clear pool for beginners i may cover future uh sections future articles in regards to the beginner's guide but for the most part i do try to advise people to look at that for themselves educate yourself about the clearpool project of course and um they do try their best they as in clearpool uh the dev team and so on do try their best to uh, break it down explain it a little bit more easier for the you know new retail investor who's a beginner uh to understand um this part the you know business development and partnerships i'm not going to actually put that that much emphasis on that you could read up you could read up a little bit more on that um but that's pretty much it as far as the uh, update in regards to the main net i love seeing the communication behind the clearpool team um in regards to what's going on with the main net um and again as soon as that main net releases i mean that's going to be a game changer in my humble opinion in regards to clearpool so all right guys all right fellow pool siders as it would say i uh, hope you all enjoyed the uh update in regards to the main net if you found useful information from this video or any of my videos for that ma uh, matter i would appreciate a like and comment and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, the channel is up over 160 subs hoping to get to that uh 200 mark soon and nonetheless may you all have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one.